the Browns released a statement that they had relieved special teams coordinator Mike Prefer of his duties. Finally. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to be like the, just beating up on a guy the day after he gets, you know, fired or relieved of his duties or whatever we're calling that now. But I mean, the writing kind of was on the wall, right? Uh, I, at least I feel like if that's the product that we're going to roll out there and we can't do any better than that, we've got a struggling rookie cooker. I know some of it's, you know, on him, but I yeah. saw multiple times we did things on special teams this year where I went, what the hell are we doing? Yeah. This is like, I mean, Blake would be sitting here and go, that's stuff that I teach seventh graders. And we're every Sunday I see another incident where I'm like, it's just, we're not prepared. Mm -hmm. We're but little things, the little details, not there. Not important, apparently. No, apparently not. Um, if you don't want to beat up on the guy, though, we did get a voicemail from oh. Brown Tiger. He'll do, he'll do it for you. Oh, okay. I just got the notification. What a day it is to be a Browns fan. <laughs> Mike Prefer is gone as the special teams coordinator. The one other guy I wanted to see leave this offseason is finally gone. Thank goodness. Now we can get somebody that really knows what they're doing in as special teams coordinator. Bye-bye, Mike Prefer. All the best in your uh, in future endeavors, but I am glad you're not a part of this Browns team anymore. Can't wait to find out who it is going to be our next special teams coordinator, man. As always, go Browns. Well, go Browns back to you, dog. That's right. Go Browns. How it? rough is it that we celebrate that? Like A guy hey, getting fired? Yeah, we're like, oh, man, you know, I, oh, we could, maybe we go to the playoffs next year. Now we're like... Hey, we got rid of our special teams coach. Let's do this. <laughs> Future's looking bright. Let's go. I mean, every fan base has different things to celebrate at different oh, times. Already, yeah. um, you know, only one fan base gets to celebrate a Super Bowl every year. And everybody else is like, I don't know what that's get like. These, get these guys out of <laughs> yeah. here who didn't get we're, to the Super yeah. Bowl. We got we got work to do. We're not, yeah. we're not there yet. I mean, you know, pre for the special teams were a joke. It was, it was atrocious. Super I mean, tough, man. After the Jets game, oh. what happened at the end of the Jets game with the, the what whatever happened on that hands team yeah. onside kick and then the defense letting them score so there, quickly and come back and beat us. Well, there's so many things like I'm usually pretty good of like remembering individual plays from games like that. Yeah. And that I I don't even remember if it was the Jets game, but the one where I want to say it was AJ Green or Ronnie Harrison, I can't remember, but they were out of bounds and grabbed the ball. Oh, like yeah. Like an outside kick. I can't yes. remember what game that was. Maybe Chargers. It was a home game because I felt like, wow, you know, that was, that was pretty stupid. terrible. But <laughs> I, if anything, you know, if we can take any good things out of that, this guy did lead us to our only playoff win in the last 20, what? I don't, God, I mean, 95. Ever. Yeah. 94. Mm -hmm. I mean, we left in 95. I mean, so if there is any like, hey, man, thank you for this. There it is. Sure. Absolutely. I, and I've know, seen that on social. Like, you know, the guy led the Browns the only. OK, yeah, he did. Yeah, Cool. But man, but, man what the else? special teams sucked. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. And maybe and he should was, be a head coach because he sure as hell shouldn't be a special teams coordinator because no. I mean, uh, it, it just wasn't there. No. And this, you know, we always say, I mean, NFL is performance based industry. I mean, if you're not performing, what are you I, doing for me? Yeah. You know, sorry, you're gone. I mean, <laughs> players get cut all the time. We, we talk yeah. about it. They. Get sent to the practice squad. They get business. cut. They get replaced. Yeah. I mean, this just is what it is. And I guess that's another thing, too, is like when you think about your coaching staff and stuff like that, the goal is to always improve. If, right. if, if there's a chance that you can improve, whether it's a position, coaching, any of that, isn't it their job to improve that? So for me, congratulations. You know, let's do this. Well done. We, th we thought that was a weakness. Now we're hopefully taking the next step forward on improving yep. that. Yep. Um, anything else you want to talk about with Prefer? Is that pretty much all the news? Oh, the one thing I did want to mention. Okay. Um, the Browns were looking at, you know, possible replacements, and my headphones are cutting out on me for some dumb reason. Okay. I'll unplug too, man. We'll it's just, just go, we'll go mute nuts. mode out here. No, it's know. okay. I can, do I, can, I can bear through here. Good lip um, reader. <laughs> Where am I at on my show, Doc? I'm so, so sorry, bro. They're interviewing Giants assistant special teams coach Anthony Blevins, but yep. the big one that is going around right now, yeah. they request an interview with Colt special teams coordinator Bubba Ventrone. What did he do before that? Former special team leader for the Browns. Oh yes. nine to 12, made okay. the Pro Bowl in 2010. I remember Ventrone. I could be wrong. Was he on their coaching staff at some point too, or no? Just The Browns? Yeah. Ooh, that I didn't see. Okay. I don't think so. Okay. I could just be 
wanting that. <laughs> Just Either wanting way. the whole thing. Just he, he was a player on their staff. Now, I, now he's coming back. He is now. I mean, well, I, hopefully. I hope so because I did you know. read that the Colts were the top ranked special teams unit in the league last year. I believe that's what I'm, I read. That I mean, that's exciting. Hey, and he was the coordinator. So right. if he wants to leave them and come here, come on. Yeah, I, I, we need that. So that'd be pretty awesome. Another another Cleveland Brown coming back on. I like it. I'm fine like with this. Too. Yeah. Even though Mike Prefer was born in Cleveland. But yeah, you know, get him out of here. Your special team sucked. Yeah. We got another <laughs> Cleveland link. Don't worry about it.